Hey everybody and welcome back to It's Only Food with Chef John Polite. Today we're going to be showing you how to make calico beans. Cue the music. Welcome back. I appreciate you joining us from whatever platform you are watching us on. Be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. Tell us how we're doing. Like I said, we're going to be making calico beans today, so I'm going to drop down here and show you what our ingredients are. We have got a half a pound of ground beef, half a pound of bacon, one onion, one can of kidney beans, one can of butter beans, two cans of pork and beans, a half cup of brown sugar, half cup of white sugar, half a teaspoon of dry mustard, half cup of ketchup, and two tablespoons of molasses. Let's start cooking. All right, we have got our ground beef, our bacon, and our onions. We're gonna fry that up in the pan right here. You see in the background, we've got our cook, slow cooker or crock pot back there that we're gonna add everything to when we are done with doing all the components of this recipe, which is in the description box or the first pin comment, so check that out. So I'm gonna go ahead and set up on the pan here and we'll start cooking. All right, ground beef, half a pound, right in. Put your pan on about a medium-high heat. Break this up. This is my wife's recipe. She's allowing me to do this and bring it to the world, so I'm just going to give credit to my wife here in attribution. This is my wife, Jenna's wonderful recipe. I love these beans. So I'm going to make them for you guys. Put the bacon right in there. I already chopped it up half a pound. Spread that in there. And let this cook for a little bit and then we'll add our onions. Let's go over and make our sauce. All right, and while the beef and the onions and the bacon are cooking, we're going to show you here. I took the butter beans and the kidney beans, of course, in the picture you saw those, but you just Drain them in a sieve, rinse them off really good, get some of that salt out and sodium off of there. And then of course your two cans of your pork and beans, just have them all ready to go. So those are ready to go, set aside there. Then we're going to take our ketchup. The molasses. brown sugar, the white sugar, and the mustard powder. And we're just going to mix this up really well. We're just going to have this ready to go right next to our beans. Let's head back over to the stove. All right, we got a good heat going on this. Everything's cooking nicely. I brought over our sauce and the beans. And I'm going to back out and show you the crock pot and what we're going to do with that. So bear with me. Got our crock pot. Try not to get the shot here. And I like to just take the beans and add them in there. I've got it on. So I got it on warm. I'm going to turn it on to low. We got our beans in there. We just got them ready. Getting hot. Starting to get the crock pot warm and uh, letting that do its thing. All right. Looking good. Ground beef starting to really get cooked there. I'm going to throw our onions right in there. We want them to cook down just a bit, break down. Onions are starting to break down, soften up, drain a little bit of the fat off of this. I'm going to go ahead and throw our sauce that we made right in here. Building flavor from bottom up. All we're going to do is stir this up, mix it up well. Turn off the heat. I'm going to back out. So 
we can see the crock pot again. I got it turned, ready to go. All I'm going to do is slide everything right in there and kind of mix it up a little bit. And we're going to let this go on high for two hours. Then I'm going to turn it to low for two hours. Total time, four hours. So we'll see you in four hours. All right, this is two hours into it. Smells delicious. Looks really good. It's obviously hot, but we're going to let this go two more hours. I'm going to turn it down to low right now. We'll see you in two hours. We'll get to taste it. All right. All right, this looks pretty good. It's pretty pretty much done now. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to put some in a bowl. We're going to take it over there, take pictures of it. And we're going to come back and give it a taste. Go away. bacon, ground beef, those beans are just tender. You're getting that sugar in there that gives it just a lot of sweetness. That bacon, did I mention the bacon? <laughs> this is really, really good. This is one of those perfect dishes that you can bring to a barbecue or a cookout. Go with bratwurst, hot dogs, burgers chicken, whatever you want to bring it. It's, it's by itself. It's perfect. Like I said, this is my wife's recipe, so I'm going to add, give her attribution. And on the recipe, which is in the first pinned comment or in the description box, calico beans. This is an awesome recipe. Very delicious. Take care of yourselves. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Uh, these rappers don't listen, but let me show them something. You hear that beat pumping, pumping from the soul kitchen. <laughs> now what you fixing up? Good food, so food, come and pick it up. These rappers don't listen, well let me show them something. You hear that beat bumping, pumping from the soul kitchen. Uh -huh.